That's that's next level stuff for him. He needs to figure that out because the, the, he gets beat to 50-50 balls. He doesn't always dig those things out like he will when he figures it out. We're going to call an offensive foul here on Melo. He pushed off to get open. Josh Kogi has been giving him the blues, man. The, the Josh has been all over him. Melo has been actually scoring the basketball and has been really effective, but you have to give Josh Kogi a lot of credit for making it really difficult for Melo. Well, gets up ahead of Steve. Carmelo gets a block and then able to tap it to Hood. Hood takes it coast to coast, can't get it to drop, but the whistle comes in. And Rodney Hood's going to go to the free throw line. Hood 70% on the the line out of the season. And that lead has ballooned up, Dave, to 46-29. We have not seen, the Wolves have been one of the poorer rebounding teams in the NBA. They were out rebounding double digits in that loss in New Orleans, by the way. Carmelo three. Uh, he's been so good in the fourth quarter this year. Twenty sixth triple for him in a fourth quarter this year. Eleventh in the NBA in total fourth quarter makes. And it's an eight nothing Portland run. Wolves need an answer. Okogi, no. Wancho comes up with the basketball and able to get the second chance bucket. Good for Wancho to stick in there. I don't know why they're taking the ball to Jalen Noel's hands. He was initiating offense and good things were happening. Carl Anthony Towns is going to check in for the Wolves on the next dead ball. Simon's able to get wide open. Switch. And Chris Finch is going to use the timeout. Portland has pushed it up to a six-point advantage after the Wolves had gone up four. It's an 11-2 Blazers run and a six-point game. 